Good day. <clears throat> Another review of something that you can get at IC Station for a very good price. It's a 60 LED, 220 volt light bulb. And, well, here I don't have 220 volt in my socket. So I'm having 120 and I'll actually do a review because, um, well, it works It works very well to on 120. Just, you don't have the... Um, the output, the light output is not the same as it should be with 120 volt, but it kind of makes it usable in various application. And you can also get LEDs at IC station in a bag of, uh, I got 100 straw hat white LED, cool white, for like uh, $4. So uh, if you want some good LEDs, you can go there. And... I got two of these because I had, well, hundreds of LEDs that I didn't know what to do with them. So I have one already set up and I am feeding it through a little transfer because there's no um, there's no plug nearby. So uh, this is the light output, loud, la, light output it does at 120 volt and let me go ahead and close all the light so we can actually have a good uh, good example and it's not the brightest like I wouldn't use that to light up a complete room but for let's say you want to light out uh, your door or a small room or a um, little cover or something like that that you don't need a super bright light and you don't want anything to warm up to heat up it's actually pretty uh, pretty good and well, it is actually very usable. Like, I could probably hang this up on top of my uh, bench and use it as a pretty good light. So, uh, but for the price, I think it was like 5 or $6 or something like that for the whole kit. And the kit comes with the bag of component, which is basically the PC board. And uh, the little uh, kind of transformer power supply ish basically what it is it's a big capacitor for uh, smoothing the DC the DC and then there's a little limiting re resistor and a uh, 470 nanofarad capacitor here for limiting the current that goes through the LED so um, well, it's very simple, but it works. And once you once you've assembled it, actually, it's uh, not too bad. And of course, well, it's very very energy efficient for LEDs and stuff like that. And it's a fun little project to start with, and it creates something that can be used later. Thanks for watching.